Okay, my friends, this is what I call the icing on the cake. My friend Hector sent me this information. Big time, huge, huge, huge information. I've been telling people for years now, there are FEMA camps set up all over this country of Sodom and Gomorrah, formerly America, with railway access, access from the railways to FEMA camps, from railways to ports, to bring people in from all different parts of the world and ship them in, and that they were guillotines on these trains and guillotines at these FEMA camps. See, the, these FEMA camps, the barbed wire is facing inward instead of outward. Normally the barbed wire is facing outward to keep people f from the outside getting in, and a prison camp is facing inward to keep those from inside getting out. This is the ICD-9-CM. I studied medicine for a while, almost became a doctor, and this is the Bible of physicians, especially here in America, but also around the world as well. And note that this is the 2010 edition. That's going to be important as well. Okay. It's, I try to get this as close as I could, but I can't. Maybe you'll be able to. You should be able to see it, though, if you look up closely with a, with a, with a eyeglass or, a, or something else, magnifying glass. But if you look at it in the IC-89, which tells you, again, it's the Physician's Bible, on uh, injuries and on disease and on uh, injuries to man. When you look under D, it says death by decapitation and it says by decapitation by legal execution by guillotine. Hmm. And we also have decapitation by derailment and also from on a railway from rolling stock or livestock on a train. Decaptation from that. Hmm. Very interesting. So I did some research and the last people to use a guillotine was 1998. A small handful of countries still use the guillotine back in 1998. And that's the last time it's been used anywhere in the world. So why in the world do we have a 2010 version of the Bible of physicians for trauma and for medicine talking about decapitation, legal execution by guillotine. You know why? <laughs> they let it slip, man. They've got the guillotine set up at the FEMA camps. They got it all set up and ready to roll. People who were left behind from the imminent rapture in this country of America, Sodom and Gomorrah, understand, first of all, this country is the great whore of Babylon in the Bible. I'm going to attach a video that scripturally proves it. Because again, people who know me know that I back everything up with scripture. I've got mega tons of scripture that prove we are no, none other than the great whore of Babylon. The Bible says that sometime in the great tribulation, the great whore of Babylon will be destroyed and wiped off the face of the earth. Every human, every animal, everything in this whole country will die. You understand what I'm saying? Between the time of the imminent rapture and whenever that happens, it could happen late in the tribulation. Who knows? The Antichrist Barack Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, I believe, in fact, I know he is, he's going to use these FEMA camps. He's going to bring people in from other countries by boat to the rails, people in from all across this country by the huge network of spiderweb railways, bring them into the FEMA camps. If they refuse the mark of the beast, if they refuse to, to uh, follow Satan or Obama the Antichrist, they'll get their heads chopped off. This is not a game, my friends. It's not playtime. It's not some kind of a of a uh, of a joke or some kind of a, of a myth or a fantasy. This is real life stuff. The ICD nine, like I said, is the Bible. There, this is just icing on the cake for me. I've been warning people for years about these FEMA camps and guillotines and everything else. I've been laughed at by a lot of people. I just pray people would wake up and see what's going on and understand what's happening right now. My friends, the rapture is imminent. Any second of any day, Jesus Christ is going to return. No one knows the day and the hour but God, not even Jesus or the angels. But it's soon. And God told those of us who are watching and waiting, He would give us discernment to know the season. I know we're in the season. I believe we're in the last moments of the season. So what's it all boil down to? If you're left behind for the imminent rapture, you're going to be stuck here for the things I told you about for FEMA camps. And, and believe me, this will be mirrored all around the world. There'll be FEMA-type FEMA camps, whatever their name is, all around the world with guillotines everywhere and with 
and with uh, people chopping people's heads off with a sword, however it happens, this is going to be worldwide. The Antichrist is going to make it so. He's going to bring a lot of people here as well, but it's going to be global. Do you want to be left here to deal with this? To have to, to have to starve to death, be tortured, and have your head chopped off? Making sure you're a Christian after the rapture, getting saved without the Holy Spirit to even help you? And then have to go through the pain and suffering and the agony of dying just to be able to go to heaven? To go through 100-pound hailstones falling out of the sky that's going to just be killing people left and right? Terrible, poisonous, demonic insects coming out of the pits of hell, stinging people for months and months at a time. They want to die, but they can't. The sun's so hot it gives you third-degree burns it scorches you and kills you. An asteroid coming down and hitting the earth. Not a near miss like it's been happening. A real asteroid is going to wipe out one-third of all mankind. It's going to destroy oceans, rivers, streams, lakes, flowers, fauna. And a hundred million man army marching down from the north is going to wipe out another third of the, of the population or so. Starvation, homelessness, joblessness, suffering, plague, famine, pestilence, disease. It's going to make today's crazy, evil, wicked, falling apart, terrible, poor, poverty-stricken, diseased world seem like forever on the beach. Understand, my friends, why go through all that? I have, I'm having a prayer like I have every video. If you've never known Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, or if you're a backslider, and you refuse to repent, even though the Bible says at least 250 times to repent, I've got the scripture, I've got it on a Word document, I've sent it out to hundreds of people, message me, I'll send it to you. It takes 10 seconds to send got it at the ready. I have so many people that want to, to want to read it. But get off your high horse, your haughty, cocky, arrogant attitude. Backsliders and repent now before it's too late. Pray this prayer along with those who've never been saved. Let's pray. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day and went back to heaven to be at the right hand side of the Father to make a place for all your children forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. When you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And when you get saved, get you a King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God. It's the only real Bible out there. The way you feed your body with food and water, this Bible will feed your spirit and soul if you read it every day. Ten bucks on Amazon, eBay, etc. Number two, pray daily to Jesus. He loves you. wants to talk to you every day. Number three. Get water baptized, dunked under water in a Christian church as soon as possible. If you were sprinkle baptized in the past, it don't count, my friends, do it over again. Number four, pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit from head to toe, sanctified by living for Christ, reading the Bible and praying every day. Number five, take that King James Version Bible to church. When the pastor preaches, when I preach, when anyone does, compare what that Bible says. If it don't match, you close it, you walk out, find somewhere else to worship. Because anyone who lied to you in Jesus' name, anyone who lied to you about what God's own word says will drag you to hell. Remember, my friends, Either man's a liar or God's a liar. It can't be both ways. Who do you think it is? It's a rhetorical question. God never lies. It's always man. And lastly, repent, repent, repent. Every time you sin after you're saved, repent. The Bible says at least 250 times you have to do that. And again, message me. I'm glad to send you the Word document. Lastly, if you have any prayer requests, you want me to pray for you for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have open messaging here. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn it or deserve it. Praise the Lord, but I prayed for it. He gave it to me. And I'll pray for you every day expecting a miracle in your life. I know that God will perform it if it's within God's holy will. And if he does, it's all through him. Nothing to do with me. I'm just his slave for Christ who does his will the way the Bible tells me to do. I answer all messages on YouTube unless you're stalkers or trolls. I get plenty of those. If that's the case, I ignore it. I delete your message, but I still pray for you. Also, on my YouTube channel, upper right-hand corner where my channel description is, has my main Facebook page. I have six of them, but my main one is a Watchman channel. Watchman page. You can go ahead and follow me there. I'm maxed out on subscribers right now, but as I have openings, I'll add you if you can follow to get all the latest information on the Watchman news all around the world, prophetic end times news. Time's short, my friends. It's time to stop playing games and get right with Jesus. I love you guys. I pray for you every day. I do this only because I love you. I don't want to see anybody go to hell. Thanks.